Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's me, it's Chelsea. And in today's video, we're gonna get into some fashion news. So there is a lot of new releases, a lot of new findings that I came across that I like to share with y'all. So sit tight and let's get straight into it. First up is the most anticipated collaboration of this year. We're ending quarter one with a bang with the DVF, I don't wanna mess up her name, and Target collaboration that was released yesterday. Now, of course, they did a big pop-up in New York last week, a few days ago, and guys, the pieces were so gorgeous. And um, of course, you know, Target, before they release a collaboration like this, they always list the sizes, the prices, and all of that on the site. So you can kind of go ahead and pre-shop and get your cart ready. You just can't put an end cart, but you can save it to your favorites. But anyway, I saw the pieces. And of course, y'all know if you follow me on Instagram at it's Chelsea J underscore. I've shared this with y'all about a month or two ago about this collab. So um, it launched, like I said, Saturday, yesterday. And guys, the girly snatched it up because I'm going to, I ain't gonna lie. I honestly forgot about the collab yesterday until I started seeing different things. And I was like, oh my God, I forgot. So around 12 o'clock, I went onto Target website and guys, a lot of the pieces were gone. And the set that I got that you see here, it's not a one piece, it's a set. And um, I really wanted that, that was completely gone. So I had to go to one of the local Targets here in Atlanta and I picked it up and I was so happy. I was able to go in the store to pick it up because I normally wear a 1X and the Target, you know, designer collapse, but I have gained a few pounds. So um, I ended up getting this in a size 2X. And I'm so grateful that I did, I was able to go in the store and try it on because I would have gotten this in a 1X if I would have ordered it online. And I would have been pissed because I definitely needed that 2X. <laughs> and then the top, I got in a 1XL. So I had to go to a whole nother store to get the top. So yeah, it was selling out so quick. And that was the last one I got in my size. So, um, cause the other sizes that they had at both stores I went to were like XLs. I'm, I'm sorry, um, double X smalls. So yeah, I was so happy to land that 1X. L, but um, yeah, so that's where I got that from. But pretty much to kind of not necessarily go off on a tangent, but just to talk about the sizing a little bit, I tried on some pieces, which I'll show you in the video. Um, one person in my comments yesterday on Instagram, because I really didn't mention the sizes because I didn't record this video, but um, she mentioned that the sizes were kind of all over the place so i just thought it was me but i didn't want to be the one to trip but anyway she kind of said the same thing so we'll see what other people say as they get their packages in the mail and as the try on videos start rolling in and see are me and her the only ones that's tripping um but yeah so that's the thing with that so oh, like i said i was happy i was able to try that on because it's made in like a crepe material and crepe does not have any give at all. Although it's kind of light, but it does not have any give. Um, I don't know if that's the name of the actual material. Yeah, this is it right here. And it just has no give. I love the material, it's beautiful and it's soft, but it's just no give, so. And it's mini shorts as well. So it's kind of one of those things that you probably wanna size up in anyway because the shorts are, you know, they're giving short shorts. But anyway, it is marketed as a mini skirt, so. But, it, uh, but I love the set and I'm so happy I got it. Now, another piece I picked up from the collection was this dress right here. Guys, I am so in love with this dress. It's giving brunch, it's giving elevated, it's giving age appropriate auntie um, <laughs> that I really, really love. So with this dress right here, it's a halter dress. Well, it looks like a halter dress and that's one of the reasons why I liked it. I love the fact that it looks like a halter because it goes in very um, closely around the neck, but the back isn't exposed because y'all know I'm self-conscious about my arms a little bit 
and I'm self-conscious about my, you know, back and stuff like that because I do have stretch marks. Um, and I really don't like to wear my arms out and, or my back out. I will, but it's not like something I kind of run to do. So yeah, that's, um, so that's the only reason why I really don't do the halter top thing unless I have like a cover up or something like that over it. But that's, but anyway, I am going to wear this dress bare. I'm honey, they're going to have to get my arms. I don't care, but I just love it. I love that it looks so elegant. And, um, so pretty much what I think about wearing with this, this with is both pieces. I do plan on going gold and bold because y'all know the gold and bold thing is in right now, especially with the mob wives aesthetic. Um, with that 80s you know chunky gold jewelry that's really a thing right now and i really like that um so i would definitely go gold and bold with both pieces but i would style it up how i have it in these pictures nothing more nothing less um with my bag with my oran sandals or tory burke sandals and that's going to be an outfit for me something easy and it is kind of heavyweight. The um, the dress, it's it's pretty heavyweight. I love it, and I'm still gonna wear it in the summertime. I know I probably have a sweat mark on my back. I don't care, <laughs> but yeah, it is very good quality. The dress is forty dollars. The pieces are very, they're. They are very target friendly. You know, they're not over the top. So I love these pieces. It's better than paying 700 and some dollars for it <laughs> or 400 bucks. And um, I love the petite collar on the dress as well. This is what I'm talking about, the petite collar and it's stretchy. And I love it because it looks, it's the type of knit that don't form balls. I'm gonna to have to wash it just to make sure, but I think this is the knit that don't form those little knit balls. And I love the fact that it's a wrap around dress. And of course, this is what she specializes in. This is what she specializes in. She specializes in the whole wrap dress thing. That's her like calling card uh, when she started her line in the 60s. So my apple shade ladies, this is our time to thrive if you know you're feeling this collab uh the pieces look really good now i'm gonna say this but i'm not gonna take away from other collaborations in the past but some of the collaborations tend to have you know some of the pieces tend to look good but some of them tend to have a cheesiness to them this collection have less cheesiness to it um if i'm articulating that properly it's if you know you know what i'm saying if you know you know but it, it does not have much cheesiness to it. Um, but yeah, those knit pieces are some really good pieces. All of her dresses, I want to say, are knit because she had the wraparound dresses and she also had the halter top dresses. So um, she had one in this like yellow, which is perfect for Easter next week. Perfect for the spring and summer period. But um, yeah, she had quite a few different pieces. And the pieces that I did try on, which I'm referring to, I'll just flash it up here. But yeah, so she has some really good quality pieces. You get a lot of bang for your buck. And um, so yeah, those are the two pieces that I purchased. One thing that I thought about purchasing, but then when I tried it on, I was like, not so much. If I sit on sale, I may pick it up. Or if I think about it a little too much tonight, I may pick it up. But it's the pink mod. 90s style dress is the pink and orange. I love that color combination together. It's very fun. It's very spring summer forward. And um, it's just a plain, you know, shoulder, uh, not shoulder dress, but it's just a plain um, strap dress, thick strap dress with a U shape. The thing that really didn't sell me on the dress is it's too long. So on me or pretty much on anybody, Something can lean, lean matronly very easily if it's not 
fitting right. So this dress right here, in order to kind of leave the matronly, sorry, I'm back, my cart was full. But in order for me to kind of get out of the matronly feel with that dress, I would have to hem it and make it a lot shorter. I would have to bring it above my knees to give it a youthful appeal or an age appropriate feel for me. And um, I don't know if I feel like doing that. Uh, the dress is $35, but I, I don't feel like paying $35 just to turn around and have to alter it. So I don't know, I have to think about it, but I did, you know, think about that dress. And um, another thing I tried on, which was a robe, I know I wasn't gonna get it, but I just wanted to try it on for you ladies. Um, Cause I don't do PJs like that. So, um, <laughs> and if my robe that I really, really like, a more practical robe for myself, is that brown one that y'all see me wear all the time from Amazon which I need to order another one because I have so many bleach stains in it because I clean with bleach. But anyway, um, but that satin robe just was not practical for me. But she has some really cute pajama sets as well. Um, all of this is offered in children's as well. So if you have any daughters, you can have some really cute mommy daughter dress alike outfits, Easter outfits. Um, because I know when we were little, we used to dress kind of matching our mom. Um, so yeah. <laughs> so if you want to kind of get in that little bag, it's perfect because it is offered in children's. And yes, yeah, so I tried on quite a few pieces and, um, those two that I picked up, well, those three pieces that I picked up were my favorites and they have handbags and stuff like that. I didn't really want to get into all the duffel bags and stuff like that. That wasn't my thing. I was just looking at the clothing. Now, now that you know what I got, now that I talked about the pieces, I talked about the quality and the prices. Now, of course we know a lot of these pieces are sold out. However, like I told the ladies on Instagram, don't fret. People are going to be getting these items and they're probably going to be returning them because they're too big, too small, or they just don't like it on their body, whatever. They're either going to be sending them back by mail. So keep an eye out on the website because Target will relist the size back if they get it back in stock. And just keep an eye out on your local stores because people will start returning these. This launched yesterday, Saturday. So it's going to... It's probably going to ship out between today or tomorrow. People are going to start getting things by Wednesday or Thursday and returns are going to ramp up by the weekend. So just keep your eye out. I pray and hope you guys are able to land some pieces because like I said, the quality is really good. The pieces that I played with the knits, the knits feel really, really good. They are heavy. Um, and the set that I got, I love that crepe material for the bottom. I love that material. I really wish a lot of people would start using that material. And um, the another thing that kind of elevate the pieces, so to speak, is because they have invisible zippers. Invisible stip, uh, zippers really make something look elevated. And the dresses have elevated everything but the, I think everything, but the knit. Um, items have it and the as for the shirt the material is like this um it's like a cotton material but it's not that soft slinky cotton that I was expecting it's kind of that cotton that don't really have that much stretch for real so I am happy I was able to land a 1x because before I saw the 1x a lot of stores did have like a double XL available and I was going to get that, but I'm happy I didn't because this is the cotton that kind of don't have that much gear for real. So <laughs> that's the thing with that. And like I said, it's a good sign a little bit because it's going, you know, it's a lot of hope for returns because this may not fit like a lot of people think it fits. So I'm crossing my fingers for you guys. But that wraps up this portion of the video. I've been yapping enough about the Target and DVF collab. Now let's get into Zara. Did y'all know that Zara, some of the jeans, well, a lot of the jeans, goes up to a size 16 
and or 18. I had no idea. One of the ladies, she sent me a DM, one of my followers on Instagram, and she showed me that there were some jeans that went up to a size 18. Now me, of course, I'm excited, but I'm not excited for myself, more so for y'all, because y'all know I can't fit no 18. But um, you ladies that can fit 16 and 18s, just know that Zara do have quite a few denim jeans in a size 16 and or 18. And I do have them linked below on my favorites list. And yeah, I'm excited about that. And I think Zara is kind of rolling the plus size out slowly but surely. I personally don't have any insider information, but I just thought that was quite funny. They decided to add a size 18. So I see y'all Zara. I don't know if they're doing this as a test pilot to see if the plus community, well, I can't say that, but I'm going to finish my thought, but I, I kind of walk that back, but I'm going to finish my thought, which was saying, I guess they're trying to see how would the plus size community react to them. But the only reason I walk that back because they have me as one of the ambassadors and I'm plus size, but maybe Maybe they don't feel like, you know, as a whole, even though, you know, I put a lot of plus size ladies on, maybe they feel like as a whole, most plus size ladies don't want to be bothered with them. I don't know. We'll keep it out on, we'll, we'll see. Cause they've been doing double XLs for some years now, at least six or seven years. So, um, yeah, they've been doing double XLs for a while. But we're going to see what they do with this size expansion. We're going to keep an eye out on it. His daughter, the owner of Zara, his daughter is over it now. And, you know, she's been, you know, taking it into this new direction that we've been seeing over the last couple of years um, during the pandemic when they kind of made a sharp left turn and they just started really up leveling. That was because of the daughter when she took over. So. I look forward to see what, you know, some new things Zara got coming as far as size wise, but the style they've been on it, honey. All right. So last up is the H&M spring summer 2024 collaboration or not even collaboration, but their studio collection. And this one was very white, very metallic. Um, I, of course, y'all know, I bought the black version, the black leather version of the eyelet skirt that they have. Well, this spring, they have a longer version and it's white and it's satin. And then they have the top to match and it's white and it's satin as well. I hate that I missed out on that. I was in the middle of doing something and I forgot that it dropped. And by the time I went on the site, a lot of the good pieces were gone. So, I, but I did want it that eyelet top. Um, the skirt I wouldn't mind having to wear as a set and I try to keep you ladies up to date on these pieces because like I always say I try to look out for my fashion week girlies you know fashion week a lot of my faves that go to fashion week a lot of times you know everybody ain't sponsored or you know sometimes they you know are fortunate enough to, fortunate enough to land a brand deal in the middle of fashion week to make it worth their while, but some of them aren't. And I said all that to say, they're swiping their own debit card for everything. Their own debit card for a hotel. Hotel rooms in New York aren't cheap unless you got a hotel discount like me. And <laughs> you know, they gotta pay for a flight. They gotta pay for them expensive Ubers in New York. So, you know, all of this stuff, they're swiping their own card. And, you know, so then on top of that, you have to buy clothes. So if I, you know, come across some nice, you know, decent price clothing that carries a large variety of sizes and, um, you know, they're unique pieces that are not too expensive. I like to share them with you guys so that way. You know, you can, cause it's easier to pick up. Like if you're going to fashion week in September, it's nice to start picking up pieces now because it's still going to be hot. So they're still going to be wearing 
summer oriented clothing. So it's like that eyelid outfit. That would be a perfect outfit to wear to fashion week. That outfit, I think, was under a hundred bucks. You know what I mean? So if you can buy little things here and there to kind of not exhaust you financially, I think that's helpful. So that's where um, that's the reason why I like to post things like that for my fashion week ladies who, you know, like to attend fashion week. So, yeah, that's the thing with that. Now, for my everyday girlies, y'all know I'm posting deals, new arrivals, all that for all y'all <laughs> because we all have different places we have to go to, different things we have to do in life. And some of y'all just don't have time to be on the internet all day like me looking for new stuff. So a lot of y'all do appreciate when I just bring you, put things in my story so you can see, you know, what's new, what's going on, what I think you should get and things like that. And another thing, this that's the end of the fashion news for this video. I talked enough, but I did want to show y'all this denim jacket that I got from Fashion Nova. This is a Zara dupe. Of course, the Zara dupe, uh, the Zara one was lighter, way lighter. It was light, light. It came out last year and I missed it, but I was in, I was able to get this for $30 from Fashion Nova. And it's just like the Zara, um, it's like a Zara moto jacket. But this is dead. I got it for this time of the year because, of course, it's spring and, you know, it's perfect. It's a perfect light jacket to wear. Like I wore it today when I went to Target and, um, you know, I wore it over a dress. Nice and light. Perfect for this transition weather. And yeah. So, yeah, check it out. I'll link that below as well. But I've been rambling enough. I hope you all enjoyed this fashion news. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at is Chelsea J underscore and follow me here on the tube. All right. See you in the next video. Bye.